welcome to Glass Engraving for Beginners. My name's Javier. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about some bits and different types of burrs that we use as beginners. I recently bought some new ones and I wanted to show you a video going through to take a look at what we have here. The first one that I want to take you a look at here uh, is this green silicon carbide stone burr. Uh, I got this particular one online. Uh, the next one up is a gray rubber silicon polisher. The small one after that is uh, the Arkansas stone, which you've seen in some of my other videos, followed by a ball diamond burr. Uh, and then after that, I have three different polishing burrs. The first one is an 80 grit polishing burr, sort of a yellowish. The next one is a 240 grit, followed by a 600 grit polishing burr. This wheel burr that I have here is white. You put it in a, a Dremel uh, mandrel, is what that stick is called. And I have four different ones that I recently bought, white, black, light blue, and pink. You attach them to the mandrel with this uh, Dremel wrench, I guess you could say, and you tighten the screw up at the top so that it doesn't fly off when you're polishing. The white silicone polisher is 130 microns. The black silicone polisher is 80 microns. The blue one is 22 microns, and the pink polisher is 4 microns. Microns is what uh, is the same as grit. Um, it measures how coarse these are. The lower the microns, the finer it's going to be. Whereas if you're measuring in grit, it goes the opposite. The smaller the number of grit, the coarser it is. The higher the number of grit, the finer that is. Uh, let's see how this looks inside a, a polishing glass. Uh, this glassware that you see here is basically trash. It was from my last video for Christmas. It cracked on me, but I wanted to show you what actually happens when you engrave with these different types of burrs. The first burr that we're going to take a look at here is our ball diamond burr. You've seen this on all my videos so far. It's one of the bits that I use the most. It, it's used for highlights. It's coarse. It digs into the glass fairly deep and that catches the light and makes things brighter. So this should come as no surprise. That looks, that stands out, that's bright on the glass. We just hit it with the ball diamond burr. The next bit that I'm going to show you today is the green silicon carbide stone burr. I just got this online. They're not that expensive. Any of these bits are just not that expensive by themselves. You can get them as kits or just you can get a single one. You still have to pay the shipping and handling, but let's see how this one looks. Uh, Right here, I'm going to try to engrave next to my ball diamond burr and see how bright this looks. And so far, it looks like it matches the brightness of the diamond ball burr, you can see here. But it does look smoother. It's not digging as deep as the diamond bit. I'm just barely skimming over the glass with this and it's creating that highlight area that is definitely fairly close to the diamond spherical bit. The next bit that I have here is the gray rubber silicon polisher. This is also a, one of the new bits that I just received. 
and I'm showing you here a new swatch um, just out of the picture right here but I'll show you once I'm done engraving what this looks like and it's definitely a change from the last two that I showed you you can see right there barely noticeable compared to the other two it is definitely a completely different shade not as bright much darker with these different types we can then use the different shades to create a 3D effect. You can see here, I hit it above my diamond spherical swatch, and you can see the difference that that made right off the bat. Here, I'm gonna show you the white Arkansas stone. You've seen this one before on the other videos. The white Arkansas stone is going to be lighter, definitely lighter than that last one I just did, which was the gray rubber silicon. You can see the progression. White Arkansas is also a smooth grind, not ridgy. There's no ridges like there was with the diamond ball spherical burr. It's very smooth and it doesn't dig as deep. Here I'm going to try the white silicone polisher, which is 130 microns. And I'll show you the difference in the shade of this. You can see that it's a little bit darker than the Arkansas stone, but brighter than my gray rubber silicone polisher. So far as you can see, we have we definitely have a difference in in shades that all of these tools, all of these burrs create. I'll hit my silicon with this white silicon polisher. You can see the difference right there. And then doing the same thing on the previous uh, carbide, you can see. There definitely are different shades polishing above our previous samples. Finally, I'll try to hit a little bit here on the diamond. Hopefully, uh, there you go. It's just a little bit of difference, and these differences is what makes our project stand out. So the next bit that I'm going to show you is going to be the black silicone polisher which is 80 microns should be smoother than that last white one I used so I'm looking for something that's darker than that last swatch so let's see what this looks like I want to try to get it right next next to it and see if it is indeed darker these polishing bits don't really dig into the glass all that much it's almost like they're scuffing it just a little bit you can barely tell the difference right there. Kind of almost looks like a fingerprint. It's so dark. But doing the same thing, hitting my other swatches, my other samples, you can definitely see here. This one kind of matches the gray. The difference is very slight. It matches the gray, the big gray silicone rubber that I had. Different shade. And this next one is the blue silicone polisher. This one comes in at 22 microns and definitely should be darker almost. You might not even be able to see it. Let me see what this swatch looks like. And right here I'm trying the bit itself, it, it feels like rubber, almost. So the difference here isn't going to be that noticeable doing this against regular glass. But if you were to hit, uh, see there you can, s can't really see it. But if you were to hit some of these other swatches, it will polish them up. 
making them darker as you go along. This next bit that I have here is my yellow 80 grit polishing burr. If I were to just hit the glass with this, you can see that it's dark. It's barely leaving a mark, almost along the same lines as my gray rubber and maybe my white polishing burr. Of course, the reason why I even got new ones is because these bits right here that I'm using, they were just a little bit too big for some of my projects, some of my finer details. But it looks like if I were to have a big area, they would work okay. This one also sort of doesn't leave a mark. This was my, that was my 240 grit polishing. So hopefully you can see the difference that these bits make. Uh, I had a lot of questions about them and I'm hoping that this helped you out.